Welcome and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tommy, just Tommy or Tom or just Thomas, whatever. And today I want to talk about PlayStation and Sony attempting to money hat a game called Crimson Desert from Xbox and failing. But more importantly, why I I think that they are following these types of practices. So let's just jump into it, shall we? I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. So I have this article here pulled up from Game Rant. I'm not going to go into it, but I just want to show you that Grizz, uh, it was reported that Crimson Desert uh, turned down a chance to have uh, exclusivity on PS5 at least for a year. Pearl Abyss rejected Sony's offer to bring Crim Crimson Desert exclusively to PS5. Basically, the reason why they didn't do it is because they they felt that um, publishing it themselves, it would be more profitable for them in the long run, which it most likely would be. But I'm not an insider in video game development, so I'm not too sure. But so this report just came out recently, and it really makes you wonder if the rumors are true that Sony has done this with other titles in the past. And uh, my my question is, why are they following these practices and and the only thing that I can really come up with is that I think Sony has lost confidence in depending on and relying on their own um, self-published IPs now don't get me wrong they still do it obviously you got your God of Wars you got your Horizons you got your games like this your Astro Bots and things like this but there has to be a reason why they're now moving a lot of those IPs to the PC because they see that the profit is there. The profit isn't necessarily in your hardware anymore. But I think that's the reason why they are trying to money hat third party titles, especially with Square Enix, keeping Final Fantasy VII Rebirth um, and uh, the remake on the PlayStation platform away from the Xbox. Now, some people might sit here and argue and say, well, you know, Final Fantasy has been known to be on the PlayStation exclusively, or that's been the home of play of the Final Fantasy franchise has been PlayStation, when really it started off on the on Nintendo. But I digress. I don't necessarily think that is true at all. It's just like with the Activision Blizzard uh, merger with Xbox. I don't think people are really going to look at Call of Duty is just an Xbox game. You get what I'm saying? Mainly because they're continuing to keep the IP third party or across multiple platforms, which I think every game should be across all platforms. You pick and choose whatever your preference is. I don't really care. It's a weird situation that Sony, I think, is in because they, on one hand, they want to put some of their IPs, they want to get their, their software out on other platforms so they can make more money, but only specific platforms. You get what I'm saying? So like, for example, Xbox, you have Xbox games on the console, PC, and you have some Xbox games going to PlayStation. And I would presume more Xbox games are going to come in the future, even older ones, I believe that they're going to start releasing them on the PlayStation as well. But with Sony, it's a bit different. They're they're very protective with their IPs. It seems like they're they're allowing some to go to the PlayStation or go go to the PC, but that's the only place they want to see how they how well they sell there. But they also want to keep them on their console because it's a weird thing with Sony. It's almost like they're unsure on what decision they really want to make. On one hand, they want to sell their IPs, their software. They want them to be profitable. But on the other hand, they also want to sell hardware. And it's it's a weird situation that they're in. <clears throat> I think the reason why they still want to keep some first-party IPs on the console is to show like, hey... We are still supporting our console, but I think mainly it's because they know, like most of us know, PlayStation consoles have now become like a main casual system. And I mean, you can take that however you want. 
everyone's always going to buy a Nintendo. Nintendo is like a staple in video games, but we all know what we're getting with Nintendo. We're getting our Mario's. We're getting our, you know, those are Zelda games, those themed type games. But with PlayStation, it seems like the majority of players play a lot of their casual games there. Call of Duty mostly sells on PlayStation. Your 2Ks mostly sell on PlayStation. I would even argue that Madden most likely sells more on PlayStation as well. So you have large IPs that are casualized that sell more on a specific console. So you want to make sure you prioritize that console in that hardware in some way. And what else do you want to do to try to drive sales for the for the console? You want to try to create other accessory hardware that can complement the main thing. So for example, you have your PlayStation 5. <clears throat> what are some accessories that are going to complement that? That's going to give you a reason, an incentive to keep that console. Well, you have your PlayStation VR. That's hardware. That's an accessory. It complements the system. You have your PlayStation Portal. It complements the system. You see what I'm saying? Like they're Sony is still so focused on hardware sales as they've always been that they're investing all this time into other hardware. And I think that the industry is changing rather quickly when it comes to IPs and video games that it's becoming increasingly harder to sell the hardware to a lot of casual audiences without incentives and I think that's another reason why they try to, and successfully, money hat third-party publishers Publishers as well. They don't want to fully buy the studio because if they can just spend extra money to keep it off of other platforms, why even buy the studio? I think they don't have enough confidence in their own IPs to guarantee sales for their hardware. For their console, I should say. And I think that's another reason why they they money hat third party games. I think that's another reason why they are they're like drip dropping their IPs to PC and it's still not full blown day and date as of yet, is because they still are trying, I think, to test the water to see how well the IPs are gonna sell on PC, but also I think it's to incentivize their player base that invested in their hardware to continue to buy their hardware. I think that's another reason why they don't have, they still at this time don't have a, a PlayStation launcher on PC. They haven't pulled the trigger on that. You get what I'm saying? It's it's like they're, they're half in and half out on a lot of decisions. And I think it's great for them to do this stuff right now because it seems like they're the market leader for consoles when it comes to comparison of Xbox, because we all know Nintendo crushes everyone when it comes to console sales and market leader. It, it, that's just, it is what it is. But I'm not comparing PlayStation to, to Nintendo. I'm comparing it to its main competition, which is Xbox. And it's clearly the market leader at this point in time. So I think aside from, you know, banking on their first party uh, IPs, they have a lot of... Uh, comfortable, I think, wiggle room to do things because their console is such a casualized console. And and then that's not bashing them. That's not, that's not meant to bash them uh, either. I'm just saying when you have all the main casual games sell more on that platform, I mean, it kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, and like I said, I'm not, it's not a negative thing. I own a PlayStation five. So uh, I mean, those are just some of my thoughts. Of course, it's five in the morning when I'm recording this. I just got off of work and wanted to get these thoughts out in video form. But you guys let me know what you think, what your opinions are on it, on the some situations like this. Why do you think Sony's trying to money hat or are money hatting third party developers? Is it to just uh, to alleviate as much competition as possible? Is it to try to drive Xbox out of the console space um, quicker? or indefinitely, you let me know what your thoughts are down below. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit me with a like. Subscribe if you enjoy it, and I'll catch you on the next one. It's been your boy, it's been real, and I'm out. Later.